Hey Vogue! Oh my gosh, that sounds so silly to say. But today I'm gonna be recreating Vogue's beauty secrets. I just came out of the shower. Also pretend it's like those backgrounds. Like my bathroom is not cute and I share a bathroom so I'm in my room but... <sighs> so the first thing is contacts. Do not shower with your contacts guys, trust me. Like I'd rather you nap with your contacts and shower with them. Not only does it stink your eye but it like really hurts. Wait here, let me do a tutorial. I take it out. I like to do this to make sure it's not flipped, and I just scoop it. I've helped so many of my friends with their contacts. Also, as you can tell, I am breaking out. Um, I think I started like breaking out and stuff and like getting like a lot of acne here and on my forehead when I was a senior in high school, and surprisingly, it didn't bug me that much. And it shouldn't bug you either because it's stress, hormonal, all that stuff. So I'm just starting. I didn't even say what this is for. I'm actually, I have a wedding in two hours. <sighs> anyway, so I guess wedding glam, but it's low-key gonna be kind of simple. We'll see. We'll see what I do. This is what I use for my hair. It's argan oil, Moroccan oil, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm not gonna dry it right now. I'm just gonna let it air dry because I don't really mind. But if you look at my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and put something on it. This is not meant for like whenever, but I literally use it for whenever. I don't think I ever use it for night. Tatcha, right? Is that how you say it? He'll be your gym girly. Really cute. I really like it and I love the smell. Here, pretend you guys can smell too. It's like peach. I don't know. You're supposed to use this for a night, but I literally use it anyways whenever I'm doing my makeup. Okay, guys, to be fair, I don't like to put lipstick or anything like that. I'd rather put like gloss, so I really like using this. But um, I like to just leave it because I always do lips at the end. You should too because if you're talking or whatever, like, you know what I mean? We're using our lips so much. Okay, moving on to concealer. The next thing I do is I actually don't wear foundation. And then before you say anything, um, I suggest you don't have to wear foundation. The only reason I don't wear foundation is because my grandma and mom, they're so against it. And it just kind of rubbed off on me. I'm not against foundation at all. I think it looks really good. It leaves such a nice like matte look or glossy, whichever one you get. Everyone, I wish everyone had an art appreciation. Because when you look at everyone, we're all so beautiful. That's why like when I started getting acne in high school, I looked at myself I'm like, wow, I'm even more attractive. And I started thinking people with acne are really cute. I have hair here and I'm not in the mood to... See, it's all about like the imperfections, like who cares? I guess foundation would be good for acne, but I think concealer is fine. If you're gonna do eyeshadow or eyeliner, usually you want it to go like where your eye is, right? Like that. That's how I like to stretch out my concealer. Because if you see like makeup gurus, they put that little eye patch and it goes like that. So you can do the same with concealer. So you could totally use a brush or your fingers to blend. I actually like to use a sponge. Wash your sponges, okay? Please leave this till the end, trust me. Because if I blend it right now, it's still gonna be red and you can still see the acne, so just ignore it and blend out everything else though. See, I'm blending up. Also, I used to do this, I used to like wipe it. You wanna like dab it, okay? That's what a beauty blender is for. I honestly suggest maybe if you have like trouble with your image or whatever or how you feel about yourself, try wearing less makeup. I don't know, you'll slowly start getting confidence, but then. It's just because now I don't wear any makeup and I don't even feel the need that, oh my gosh, I have to. Especially since I'm like up front on a camera. I've had many uploads where I actually wasn't wearing any makeup and I was so like like scared, I guess. But people were still super sweet and they're like, oh my gosh, you look so good. You know, I had like no makeup on. And honestly, it's because we're our harshest critics. But also, if you don't care, like no one's gonna care. I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need concealer because my under eyes are so bad. But then again... I never even noticed my under eyes until my friends pointed it out. So also I'm gonna put another layer because I'm talking about like under eyes. I'd rather do like multiple layers than just like so much at once. First time in like four years, no earrings. It's been two days, I'm like obsessed. I don't really contour my nose, that's another thing. Now like you'll probably look at like, wow, it's so pretty because I think it's so pretty. My friends used to tell me I have such a big nose and then I started working in this drive and people would be like, wow, your nose is so pretty. And I was like, wait, what? It's nice to have like the lightness here, I guess. Okay, next I use this. I'm sure everyone knows this one. I love it. I got it from Amazon actually because Target didn't have it. It comes with a mirror too. I never really use this. You can tell I love it. I hit pan guys. You know, I love it. Same thing. I look at just stab it. Okay, but when it comes to this, I'd be putting it on my whole face. Okay, intermission, because I haven't been drying my hair. Okay, so this step is so important, guys. I don't know if you remember one of my videos. I think it was like the most recent one, which was like February. But I typically use this mascara, and it is dry, it is done, it's been expired. My mom gave me this. 
it's Clinique. I'd never in my life used this, but I'm using it for now. But before we put on the mascara, you're gonna have to heat this up in any way. I'm just gonna put it here. You see that? Like right here. And I'm gonna tighten this. So I've been using this trick for a bronzer since like middle school. I used to watch these videos like crazy. Like I love them so much. So honestly, making this right now is so fun. Bronzer. I love this one so much. I've hit pan and I still use it. I don't care. Until it's gone. She just puts bronzer on her eyelid and that's literally the only thing I do. Do you see the difference? Like, hello? I absolutely love that. My no makeup makeup look. It's concealer and bronzer and that's it. I love it and it just, I don't know, I love it so much. And I used to be someone who I'd always do like a full eyeshadow look and I love eyeshadow, like don't get me wrong. Next we're gonna be curling our lashes and I hate to do this so I typically don't, but I'm going to a wedding so I feel like I have to at least look, I don't know. I don't even do it for that long because it actually stresses me out so much. I swear, like if you're like around my age, yours is from Forever 21. This is like from middle school. I don't want to do eyeliner, but I think I'm going to do eyeliner because I don't know the dress I'm going to wear. I think I'm going to do like inner eyeliner. I usually don't because as much as I love that like siren look and everything, my eyes are pretty big. It's more flattering if I leave it as it is and just do some glitter. That's typically what I do, but YOLO, let's just do it. Sorry guys, I'm using my phone as a camera, so give me a second. Okay, you know what? I take back everything I said. This suits me so well. I'm not going to stay, so you have to be applied just like your lips. Are we surfing? Why do I love that? I haven't been feeling myself recently, but I woke up today. It's June 30th and I don't know, something just changed. Maybe it's the mood. Vogue hit me up. I'm not going to do the eyeliner yet because I still don't know if I want to. So I'm going to do the mascara first. In middle school, I was such a makeup fiend, like whatever. But my friend put me on Riverdale. Guys, guys, please, please. I've grown, please. Lily Reinhardt, the girl who played Betty. I watched hers and she was like, why do you guys open your mouth? Like, just close it. And ever since she said that, I don't open my mouth like... You know, I just... And remember to move your brush around because there's not just mascara here, it's around the whole brush. Also, let it be messy, guys. It looks so much better. I like to do like two layers, so I'm gonna just leave it as it is. If I keep brushing it, I might mess it up. But I love to do my under eyes. And okay, before you guys say anything, no one applies it like this, but I really like to do it. And I know I shouldn't, but I like to do it like everywhere. And I like to get it messy. Let me show you. Okay, you can't tell because you're not like close up to me. If you're bad at makeup, practice. I wanted to know how to do eyeliner so bad, so I took the whole Thanksgiving break of my sophomore year in high school, and I'd be on FaceTime with my friend, and I'd just be trying eyeliner. Because it's like, oh, how do you get better at this? How do you whatever? And they say, oh, practice, and then you don't practice. Like, trust me, there's a reason why they say practice. Because you need to get the feel for everything. Like, I can do my makeup closing my eyes. That's why I'm using my phone camera, because I don't really need a mirror even. What I'm going to do next is actually blend this out, because I want to set my face, and I don't want to set my face with this not being blended. If you still see my acne, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Also, if you see this, do you want to know how it happened? Should I do a story time? I was five. I was at my grandma's house, and they have a playground, like, really near their house. And there was this girl, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to play with her. And we were running around, and I tripped. I tripped on my face. I don't know how. Guys, I remember because I was looking in the mirror. No, but then I cried because I, like scratched myself here, and it affected my hairline. Did you see how this is, like, a normal hairline? And then this is it. And then I remember my mom would always do me like part my hair like this when I was younger and then have this like that. Oh, um, anyways, the girl, she didn't feel bad or anything. I never saw her after that. My mom literally picked me up and she to my grandma's house and we were in the kitchen and she was putting on that like, I don't know, whatever, like the alcohol wipes, I don't know. And it like stung so bad. Gab Loki stayed for such a long time and I can't believe it like affect my hair. That's something that actually bugs me, but it's fine, it's fine. Guys, I just like the way the brush feels, honestly. What am I even doing with my face? I used the Morphe one. I think it's because it's an infinite spray or continuing. Now I'm going to be putting on the glitter, but I'm going to be using this and let me show you. And I'm still using it because I'm a sucker for this one. Ready? If you watch my graduation vlog, I'm going to put this one on. Guys. I don't care. I only like to put it in this corner, right? And then I'll like blend it out like halfway, not all the way. 
But honestly, your fingers are the best when it comes to you really want pigmentation. Because I feel like oftentimes the brush can take so much. Yeah, I like to move it up to my eyebrows even. What do you guys think? I'm kind of eating it up. Maybe this. Give me, this is like an alter ego, guys. Guys, do this right now, especially if you haven't been feeling yourself. It's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees. Ever since Glow has been like talking about that song until she posted it, it's only been hot. Now oh, that shout out Glow. Let's move on to lips then. I'm gonna use this. I've never used this in my life. I know Clinique again because my mom literally just gave it to me. Kind of scared because it looks really dark, but she said it's not. Oh wow. I used to even do like lip liner. I've just been so like out of it. I don't know why. I think since college, I just haven't been doing the same makeup that I used to. Okay, so let me tell you guys, before you start crying, I had such a beautiful lip gloss. I don't even know, Sweet and Shimmer. And it was like glittery and I lost it. So I'm using this one, which is also Clinique. This is not sponsored at all by any of these products, but I love pink and I love glitter. I just cannot believe I shared this story. Like, I don't know why that's so funny to me because looking back, I can't help but laugh. But I know as a kid, like, it bugged me so much. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a heart birthmark. Bro, I used to get hella bullied for that. Um, yeah, I did not like that. I cried. I might remember, I'd be, like, crying. I'd tell my mom, like, oh my gosh, I hate Because it used to, like, scare me. I don't know why. When I'd see it, I'd be, like, I forgot it was there. I guess we're just talking about, like, all my <laughs> insecurities in this video. I'm gonna tell you the order, but you tell me what you think. When it comes to like getting ready, makeup, clothes, then hair. Because you have to do hair at the end. Because like for me, if I'm like putting on a dress or something, I don't want it to get messed up with the hair. And because I always leave the house with this. Now also makeup, it's like the longest and you want it to set and look really good. Yeah, see, I'm not used to this mascara. Um, so I'm not loving it as much, but it's okay. Here's how the makeup looks. I think I'm done. I just love the way that feels guys. I don't even need this. What do you guys think? We're not done, not just yet. So after you come out of the shower, you always want to moisturize and lotion. I'm going to just apply like here all over like my chest. But it's because I want to put some perfume. It lasts so much longer when you have a base under. My friend says she puts Vaseline, but Vaseline is so thick. So I love this. Miss Dior. The smell is so good. I feel like the, the Jeremy fragrance guy. Guys, smell that. And then this I got as a graduation gift. I've always wanted it, so I was super surprised. And it only needs like one spray, honestly. I'm gonna do a third one with my dress, but not right now. Here's the makeup glam for the wedding. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's simple, but honestly, simple. I think it's really cute. I could definitely make one for actual like eyeliner and I do my eyeshadows. Also, you're assigned to do this yourself. Vogue, hit me up. This was super fun. Hope you guys hope you enjoyed.